there's an opportunity to win an MLI contract. How good can you be for one week of your life? Donate everything to being the best player you can be. Effort, effort, effort. It's 10 push-ups, not a great catch. So I'm gonna stretch your lungs again. What? Not too good. We want you to win a contract. It's gonna be rapid fire. It's tough. Denver, Colorado, late October. Meeting for the first time are a group of rugby players from across the Americas with a common dream to prove themselves good enough for an opportunity to play the game they love professionally. Cuando llegamos había ciertas incertidumbres, dudas sobre cómo iba a estar el grupo. Había mucha incertidumbre porque los datos que teníamos en un principio eran bastante básicos. Al principio los uruguayos todos por un lado, los brasileños por otro y los chilenos aquí como en en la mitad. Bienvenidos. Bienvenidos. Gracias. Gracias. So, we'll do a presentation after lunch. The one rule for lunch is, wherever you're sitting now, you cannot sit there. You have to sit with someone else from another country, okay? Or someone you don't know. Pero apenas okay. Scott nos dijo la primera reunión que no nos podíamos sentar en el mismo lugar ni con la misma gente, se empezó a armar automáticamente un lazo y una unión. Eh, fue un poco extraño porque normalmente a gente quiere matar ellos, ¿no? E agora aqui a gente tem que, teve que se relacionar e se transformar em companheiros de equipe, né? So you have to get to know each other and you have to do it quickly. Alguns já um pouco nos conhecíamos por haver jogado em contra ou compartilhado alguma experiência. Essa transformação aí de querer matá-lo <risos> para querer o bem, para ele jogar bem do meu lado, foi um pouco diferente, mas eu espero que acabe a semana e a gente esteja mais amigos ainda. Né? Creo que desde el primer momento nos hicieron sentir cómodos. Si bien siempre nos estaban como que evaluando desde el primer minuto, más allá de eso, este, nos sentimos muy bien. There's 25 athletes here from Brazil, Uruguay, Chile, Canada, and the U.S. For me, it's an it's an opportunity to bring a lot of different collective parts to the game of rugby together to share and, and grow intellectual property. For some of the guys, they've they've given up their jobs. Good. They tell you that they've given up their job and they've, they're ready to just to, to up and leave. The significance of this week is it impacts you greatly. Es una buena oportunidad para conseguir algo que siempre quise. Y estaría dejando de lado está obviamente todos los seres queridos, cercanos, amigos, mi novia, mi familia. Todo eso obviamente se va a extrañar, y, pero está, en realidad es una experiencia donde también es un tiempo para uno estar solo y vivir cosas y vivir una experiencia diferente. ¿Qué um, about injuries? How are your injuries? Sí, en 2015, en octubre, tengo una neck injury. Mm -hmm. uh, the ligaments of the vertebra mm -hmm. get broke in a, in a tackle and I have a surgery. But uh, seven, eight months after that, I returned to the field with, I'm with confidence okay. and, and enjoy, uh, yeah, no, no, enjoying the, the play because yeah. after that, I, I only try to enjoy. Uh, boys, if we can have a seat, please. Just uh, we start the presentation. First two rows. There's a massive responsibility on the staff to to give the best program we can give and to put them out there for the MLR clubs. So, boys, lads, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to show you what's at stake this week. So the end goal is for you guys to win a contract and to become a professional rugby player. Yep. 
Okay, so that's the goal. They're all real talents, and there's talents right across the board. All these guys have played test match rugby, and they haven't been in a professional program. So it's the exact opposite to, to most of the programs around the world. I've never seen anything like it. The staff that's looking after you, we've tried to assemble the best staff that we possibly can. So from a coaching point of view, um, I'll lead the coaching. So my background is uh, I've worked with uh, international teams, worked with uh, the Wallabies, worked in Japan, Samoa, uh, and now England. Chris Hickey. So Chris is just here, head coach for the Waratahs with Super Rugby. Chris has got a very, very good eye for a rugby player. Great eye for talent. So boys, please impress him. This is groundbreaking, boys. First time it's ever been done. So we created history with the, with the islands. Now we're creating history with the Americas. So can you fit into an MLR club? Will you adapt to an American club? That's what we need to know. We want you to win a contract, okay? So there's an opportunity to win an MLR contract. Eu sacrifiquei muitas comidas que eu gostosas, que eu gosto, doces, sobremesas. E principalmente ficar longe das pessoas que eu amo, que é minha família. É ficar longe dos meus irmãos, algumas vezes também ficar longe da minha namorada. Era uma pessoa meio antissocial, era uma pessoa às vezes até meio agressiva. E muitas das vezes acabava tendo umas brigas assim, mas... É, já aconteceu por várias vezes ser um garoto assim meio ah, um pouco violento assim em alguns casos eu acabei sendo expulso de uma escola e foi por um lado foi ruim mas por outro foi muito bom que foi nessa escola que eu acabei conhecendo o rugby e no rugby foi exatamente isso que me prendeu que foi o companheirismo e as amizades que tipo eu carrego até hoje na vida então tipo isso foi muito importante para mim the only other thing that you need to know is at four o'clock in the foyer here, we are walking to the rugby. We're going to watch some sevens. The choice of location for this inaugural America's Combine is a very deliberate one. We're in Glendale, Colorado. It's trademarked Rugby Town USA. For a reason, they have a rugby-specific facility that's paid for by the, the municipality here. It's the best rugby facility in the United States. Rugby has really revitalized this city completely. Builds community, builds character, and is worldwide. That was our goal here. Its ability to do the right things in sport, to actually change a community, to pull people together, to bind opposing groups together in a, in a common goal, and that's collaborative competition. It does give a lot of support to rugby, the fact that um, all the city leadership and management is right here. Literally, it's actually physically connected. Like, all the walls are actually touching the stadium. So it's really cool to know that your leadership's behind you in this sport, which is growing rapidly. You know, I think Glendale plays a really great role because it's, it's a model that I think we want to create around the country. It's kind of a rugby hotbed, and it's where a lot of people come because they know that they can improve themselves as a player, as a coach, as a referee and also being showcased in a stadium and facility like this. It's, it's really fantastic. Boys, kindergarten has finished. Not a great catch, 10 push-ups, not a great catch. So yesterday was a nice, easy day. Go! Oh, no, hands off the ground. We get to know each other, nice. No, too high, too slow. 10 push-ups when you're done, caught it on your chest. And as soon as you become comfortable, pedal in, yellow card, 10 push-up. We'll make you uncomfortable. <laughs> ah, hands on the ground, you're both gone. Too loose, I've split you. The test begins today. Lock, lock, lock. Too, too much gap there. Lock. So boys, the combine's begun. With just five days to prepare a scratch team to take on one of the top sides in the United States, head coach Scott Wisemantle knows that to give the players the best chance of showcasing their talents, there's no time to lose. Go! 
And getting his message across to a group speaking three different languages adds another layer of complexity. Does anyone understand about ambition? So ambition is don't be afraid to test your skills. You understand? People who buy you in contracts want to see what you can do. They want to see your skills. You have to try things. It's definitely going to improve the US because it raises the standard of the rugby within the MLR. But if you look at the bigger picture, it actually raises the standard in the Americas, both North and South America, because those guys go back and play test match rugby with their nations and they've been exposed to professional programs. I liked much of the method that he uses. He's a guy simple, you can see that. But he doesn't like to leave us comfortable. Yeah, good. OK. OK, too easy. Now you know the drill. With only a handful of sessions available to him, Wisemantle and his coaching team's task of assessing 25 players is an urgent one. Detail, honesty and direction are the only option. Ugly but effective. Grab a bag. Se siente un poco la altura acá, el aire un poco más pesado, pero creo que estuvo bueno ahora sacarnos un poco el viaje para ya en la tarde para los test físicos estar un poquito más más activado. Good skill, much better skill. Well done. Los técnicos te miran todo el tiempo todas las cosas, miran todo el equipo, corrigen cada detalle que está mal, que está bien, si estás adelante, atrás, el pase, te corrigen todo todo el tiempo y son técnicos de muy alto nivel, lo cual nos exige mucho a nosotros. It's not just their technical ability that needs assessing. With players coming from so many different programs, the coaches need a handle on their physical capabilities too. This means that day one is brought to an unpleasant conclusion with a series of gruelling physical tests and there's no hiding place from such experienced coaches. I'm good with that. They're obviously playing at a very high level, but the thing is the repeat efforts. That was one thing that, that stuck out. They need to improve there. And, and I suppose the other thing is that last period of the game, that last 20 minutes where they can hang in there, and that's indicative of some of the results. We're all ready to go. I think it's an outstanding concept by World Rugby um, to be able to try and uh, fast-track the talent and the identification from around the Americas. been a wonderful initiative. Really been impressed by the quality of the, of the players that have been here. Push, 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 push. Two, one, let's go. The fact that they're playing week in and week out, the fact that they're in professional environments uh, is hugely beneficial. The ability for the MLR to become a better competition, for the standards to be raised higher, for the, the quality of the rugby and the quality of the players to improve, is only going to actually benefit everybody playing in the MLR, and the better the MLR gets, then obviously the, the better the knock-on effect will be to the national team. Get all on for inside five minutes. Let's keep it at that pace. Make the line. Two minutes. Don't be short. Make the line. Zabby in. Number eight. Make the line. Now you do it again. 5.15. 5.16. 5.17. Five nineteen, five twenty, twenty one, twenty two. Get up, get up, get up and walk. There's enormous potential there, but probably the most Im impressive thing was the effort. The fact that players just wanted to fight for the extra second, the extra rep, um, wherever it was, there was just competition in everything. <laughs> that was savage. The altitude really kills you. It's a good way to test you out, though, that's for sure. It was not too good, too much. Uh, very dry here. <laughs> There's a couple of standouts, but we'll just see how they go tomorrow. Tomorrow is a real testing day. In the morning there's units uh, and in the afternoons collective with a game sense session. So it'll be quite difficult.
how old are you now? Sorry? How old age, Kailash? 29. Okay, 29. Good. Never, never too old, <laughs> never too old. You're 29? Yeah. But you're telling me that four years ago, you started to think about rugby professionally. Yeah. So your training age is four years. Quando eu tive a conversa com o Scott, a primeira conversa, ele falou que como eu, tenho, eu treino há pouco tempo como profissional, eu tenho uma margem muito grande ainda para continuar treinando. E isso me encorajou muito e ele me deu um pouco mais de juventude, né? Ele falou, não, não, você é novo ainda, você tem muita lenha para queimar. É uma grande oportunidade de aprender com o Scott, né, que é um treinador do mais alto nível aí do mundo. Então a gente está tentando absorver o máximo possível de informação para poder evoluir como jogador e também levar todas essas informações para o Brasil, né? O objetivo principal era pegar o contrato, que alguém acreditasse no meu rugby e eu pudesse vir aqui jogar profissionalmente. Se eu estou aqui é porque eu tenho um potencial para pegar um contrato. Eu sei que eu estou perto, mas eu não sei dizer o quanto perto estou. Eu sei que a oportunidade está aqui, mas eu não sei ainda se tem times interessados em mim. Eu acredito que se algum deles, porventura, me der uma oportunidade, eu sei que eu vou pegar ela e não vou deixar escapar. Whilst most of the players are settling into their stay in the US, some have still brought with them a little slice of home comfort. The players need to take advantage of all the rest and recovery they can, as the coaches have much in store for day two. Moses, morning, mate. So this morning is unit skills. So. What we want to do is be great at your job. So for forwards, you've got scrum. Forwards scrum. OK, so you're going to do a little bit of technique work, you're building up, building up, and then you're going to go oppose against Glendale. We're going to have to concentrate on ourselves. They're going to have a great set piece as the South Americas, I mean, they always have a good scrum, so their scrum is going to be fantastic. They've been working on their line outs. We know that, but other than that, we're not really sure what they're going to give us, so we're just going to have to concentrate on our own game, and hopefully we uh, put out a good product. Yep, on, on his head. We've got some young talent here as well. Like we've got a good young talent, a good base of talent. You know, it's going to be really interesting to see how they kind of step up under the pressure on Saturday night playing against, you know, a, a good quality side. We're really excited for it. I think we know it's going to be a great challenge with all the guys being capped for, I mean, Brazil, etc., like that. So, yeah, we're really excited for it. That's a massive challenge, especially up front. They've got some big lads, you know, from, from Uruguay, from Brazil. Oh, there's definitely a few players that I've said to um, our coach, Mr. David Williams, if you want to keep an eye out on him. I'd rather be uh, passing him the ball than tackling them. Thank you very much. <laughs> For coach Chris Hickey, his first look at how this scratch team might take shape is in the form of a contested scrummaging session against Saturday's opposition. He's still on his knees. Can I have a... Yeah. So with your bind, your bind, your bind right? Your bind in here. Yeah. I want you to take through here. You crutch bind? Yeah, okay, crutch ball, much stronger. It's getting better. Yeah. It's getting better. Does it feel stronger for you? Yeah. It's different, isn't yeah, it? Different. Different, different. It's different. It's looking much better. Yeah, it's good. Here. Yes. So now you can yes, yes, yes. square up, OK? Like this. Yes. With some renowned scrummagers at his disposal, it doesn't take long for Hickey's advice to take effect. <laughs> Good feel. Oh, yeah. Feel all right? Good. Yeah, much squarer. Dois mais, hein? Gostei do que ele falou porque é um treinador diferente que eu estou acostumado, uma ideia diferente e vi que é fácil. Quando você tenta fazer, é fácil acostumar. Você percebe que todo, toda a técnica tem seu lado bom, seu lado ruim e hoje é, eu aprendi só o lado bom dessa técnica. Então isso foi para mim, eu melhorei muito em questão disso.
Uh, from us, thank you so much for allowing us to like uh, do this training session. Uh, it was a really good battle, and thank you from all of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you as well, fellas. Um, that was the first time this season we've actually got some scrummaging in against a, um, a good pack. So it was good for us and coming into the weekend. So we know what we're up against now, and uh, hopefully the scrums are good on the weekend. So thanks, thanks, fellas. Cuando llegamos, la coordinación fue un poco difícil, nos llevó un rato más de lo normal, pero una vez que encontramos un sistema de trabajo todos juntos, sirvió, nos conectamos y terminamos con muy buenos scrums contra el equipo de acá. Creo que agarramos confianza, falta algún detalle para el sábado, obviamente faltaría mucho trabajo, pero estuvo bueno. Well done, boys. Good work. Last scrum, we all came together. Uh, much better body position, better scrummaging. We can still work a little bit more on your bind. But uh, considering the time we've had together, that's a really good effort. Well done. At stake for these players are professional contracts in the fledgling Major League Rugby competition, which, in its second season, is gathering pace. MLR is expanding. It's got a great group of owners across the country that are all rugby-minded business people who are doing it right, putting it all together. They also, to a person in that group, believe the same as I do about the importance of the sport. That's the little, that's the scrum half Marcelo. They're a little, look at this little Marcelo. Gosh, he's good. We've got five of the ownership groups here. They've uncovered some gems and, you know, it's interesting to see now. They, they like to ask questions, but they all tap me on the shoulder. They'll send me a text. They want to walk away a bit because when they're interested in a player, they want to start to try to keep their enthusiasm to themselves a bit. Sobre el contrato, creo que es el sueño de, de nosotros poder pertenecer a un equipo profesional y, y dedicarse profesionalmente a lo que más nos gusta. Pero creo que no hay que perder de lado el, el hecho que es un juego. Hay que divertirse y si jugamos pensando en el contrato, probablemente salga, salga al revés. Así que estar tranquilo dentro de la cancha creo que es clave. This, this six, this 18 right there is the um, most capped Uruguayan, Diego. Manuel, I think he, he's good. He does a ton of work. He says he'll go anywhere. He doesn't. He hits rucks, and I mean he's he's locked. The owners are are all well-funded, smart business people with a passion for rugby. So we can expect the MLR to explode in the next five, six years. The MLR it's moving into the second season. They've added two new franchises this year, so they'll be up to nine teams, and they have uh, plans to add three more teams next season, which will bring the league to a total of 12. The Americas need to be a lot more, you know, just out there. They need to be a lot more stringent, a lot stronger with their rugby, and this is one way of increasing that competition level, and this is a great way of exposing players to different environments and getting them better, not only for us, that's what I want as an MLR team, but also going back for their national teams. Boys, if you want to play the best, you have to train like the best. Okay, I've got the whole staff here because we're in this together. This is together. So in one week, what we want to do is give you some information, give you something that is going to make you a better rugby player. Yep. Yes. Effort, <coughs> effort, effort. Doesn't matter how good a rugby player you are, you have to have effort. Okay? All right. Where's my halfback? One of them in the middle. <laughs> America's combine, 18. Ah, ya estamos tratando de formar lo que hace el equipo para el partido el fin de semana, ya viendo las jugadas, el line, scrum, ya aceitando todo un poco para, para que el fin de semana sea, sea un bonito partido. ¿Cómo caíste? No sé, ni idea. No me di cuenta. No me... I mean, their attitudes have, were tremendous there. They had two day practices, Monday and, and Tuesday. Wednesday was, was uh, just one, one hard practice in the morning. Now this afternoon they're going to get massages. Now, that being said, I'm sure they're looking forward to their massages today and, and relaxing and I think they're going to take in an NHL hockey game tonight, so that'll be fun. <laughs> Colorado 
Buenos dias. Okay. Boys, looking at the session yesterday, everyone in this room at some stage took a shortcut. If you do it properly and you last, you've done it properly. So you have to understand that you have to push yourself. Sometimes you're not going to be the best. And there's also things that you've told me in the interviews and you've told Chris that you're going to do and I'm going to make sure you've done them. You told me that you're going to chase certain individuals up, that you're going to go and learn some things that are going to benefit your game. It's your responsibility. You have to go and do it. So if you're not going to do it, don't say it. With the combine entering the second half of the week, coaches and owners from MLR clubs across North America have flown in to assess who, if anyone, might be suitable for a place on their squads. How are you? You all right? Good, good. How's everything, good? So, two things. Right now, it looks like there's probably six, five or six of these guys that are gonna probably even maybe sign tomorrow night after the game. They're not signed yet. There's, there's teams that want to make, they're like, when can we sign? Can we sign tomorrow night? I said, well, some people, they're asking, can they sign tomorrow night if they need to do things after and for PR and for the amplifying effect of all those things, so. The Combine is not just a platform for players. As the week progresses, the coaching reins are passed over to Oscar Duran from Uruguay and Daniel Danielovic from Brazil. Los entrenamientos acá han sido muy exigentes, tratando de llevar a los jugadores al al límite y bueno, por supuesto he aprendido muchísimo tanto de Scott como de Chris, son entrenadores de primer nivel mundial. Es un lujo poder estar cerca de ellos y aprendiendo todo el tiempo. Looking forward. Yep. And when I have I know, to yeah, I know. I you were looking forward. I saw, I, have a I saw that. I saw you were looking forward. That's okay. That's what we're here for. They're just looking for more detail and more clarity about their roles and some of them also about tackle technique. They really are sponges, so they want to learn. They've got lots of really good questions to ask and that will certainly help to them to develop. Los entrenadores, mira su currículum y no puedes creer que te den dando una chance a vos de aprender. Son únicos. Scott entrena para Inglaterra, Chris para los Guarata, Super Rugby. Nosotros venimos de jugar en los clubes amateur con amigos y pasas a una etapa donde te corrige un, un referente mundial. Si el ball viene rápido, él va a pasar por ti. Y lo que quiero hacer es ir rápido. Lo que él quiere es correr rápido. Todo lugar que yo voy, yo intento aprender lo máximo posible. Deixar o máximo de, de coisas possível. Sempre tento absorver o máximo de informação, conhecimento em todo lugar. Para mim já valeu a experiência, porque agora sei lidar com vários tipos de treinadores e cada vez mais eu consigo colocar em prática um dos meus talentos que eu acredito que eu tenho, que é a adaptação. Me adaptar nos lugares. Ok. Good luck. Let's go. Creo que es una buena oportunidad para escuchar mucho, aprender y, y tomar todas las recomendaciones. Es duro estando en la, en la cancha porque cualquier detalle, cualquier error, ellos van a estar con la mejor onda, digamos, para mejorar uno, pero tenés que estar todo el día concentrado. Va a ser máximo número de repeticiones que usted consigue hacer. Okay. And if you miss one, you keep going. It's fine. We're not, we're not going to punish you for... But we want to see how strong you are. The idea of this meeting is to select the starting 15 and then to move 
into the replacements because we'll play in quarters. So it'll be 20 minutes, one minute break, 20 minutes half time, and then we repeat the sequence. Okay, so starting loose head. Uh, mate, I would have had uh, Lucas and Drady. Yep. Okay, for me, Matteo. For me as well. Matteo, it is. <laughs> Just because of his movement on the field. Yeah. That's going to be a 40 40 split there. For those two, yeah. Yeah. Matteo has two or three people already yeah. here yeah. looking at him. Right. I mean, yeah. I think you, you know, I think if our goal is to try to place as many and let as many show their wares, I think get him in, get him, let him get a good run. So then we move to uh, Hooker, Chris. Herman? Yep. I had Herman. Me too. Okay. All right, that's a no-brainer. So if I go to tight head? Uh, Wilkins. Yeah, Easy one. OK, well, there you go. We're all on the same page. If we look at the locks, so if we go left side lock... Mate, I'd, I'd pick Kleber. I'd agree. So we put Kleber in there, because he's a back rower. We know who's the right side lock. Who do you, have you uh, Right side lock, Diego. Yep, same. OK. OK, six. I've got that open. Because I had... There was Leandro, who I think's been lazy, OK? So I don't want to reward him. And I had Ignacio, but in my head, I'm also thinking that Manuel is one of the better, better rugby players. So then, seven, who's our open side. So there's Artur, yeah, yeah. and there's, uh, nice. there's Ignacio. Yeah, yeah. I think they're both excellent. They've both been really good. So, but I'd, I'd, I'd tend to go Artur yeah. on that one. OK, which brings us to eight. Chris? Uh, Alejandro. Yep, I had Alejandro. OK, well, that's it. OK. OK, so then I'll move to nine, half-back. Uh, Marcelo? Yep. Marcelo? Yep, OK, so unanimous. OK, so what's the best mix? Now it's starting to get like a reality TV show. With three of the nations represented at the Combine competing in Rugby World Cup 2019, the importance of the opportunity to train and prepare as a professional is not lost on the players. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my cha your YouTube channel. El objetivo para los uruguayos es con los llegar lo mejor posible al mundial, ¿no? Y eso implica tener competencia y tener competencia implica jugar profesionalmente. Yo tengo la posibilidad de jugar acá en Estados Unidos, así que nada, la oportunidad única. ¿Ha sido impresionante el juego? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se fue? Bueno, bueno, partida difícil, pero bueno, bueno, terminó bien. Gracias. <risa> Entonces, la semana ha sido buena, estamos entrenando bastante, tenemos tajes físicos muy duros, teve un treino, nossa, muy pesado para gente, pero pasó. Ahora, y ahora está acertando los detalles ahí, haciendo la parte táctica toda para jugar en el final de semana ahí contra el Glendale Raptors el sábado. Conhecendo, conhecendo un poco de la estructura profesional de, de, de do Major League e se adaptando com o jeito de jogar deles e da melhor e, forma possível. E sábado tem Americas Combine aí contra a Greendale Raptors. With training complete, the MLR coaches and owners are keen to learn as much as they can from Scott and his team. Okay, so Chris, what, what do you need? So we're looking for that that kind of that leader kind of player slash coach that can help and make everyone else run better. What do you think that I asked you about that 17, that 12, 13 boy? Um, where, where do you see him strongest at? Because I, I guess for us, we're talking 9, 15. I, mean, I think the front row guys here are great. It ha happens to be one of our strengths. He likes to play 15 as well. Uh, and then moving to 10 in the, in the final quarter. Um, but if you guys want to see more of him. So those names you gave me, like are those immediately available? Or, the yeah. thing I like about Diana is he's athletic, he's got genuine pop. Uh, Mike, yeah, I'll yeah, you later. no worries, mate. I'll, uh... With the game less than 24 hours away, all that remains is for Scott to deliver the names of the starting players to the group. They know that this is their shop window, and Dan Payne leaves them in no doubt about the reality of the situation. Good. The coaching staff is going to announce the team that's going to play this weekend. There's already, I can say, safely three, potentially four people in here. We won't tell you who it is. That uh, we've had serious inquiries from from teams within the league. 
about that we'll probably be getting in touch with you no later than Sunday or Monday of next week, all right? But there'll be more after Saturday's performance. And for me, the most exciting part is thank you to all the staff, coaches, everyone involved. We have a team. Gracias. All right? Ciao. So when I announce the side, it doesn't matter if you start or if you come on, the guys who are vying for an MLR contract, you will get at least 40 minutes. There will be guys that don't start that will get a contract. I guarantee you. I promise you that. Boys, you're creating history. <laughs> the first time there's been an America's Combine. OK, are we good? If you have a problem, you come and see me. OK, right. So, one, Mateo. Two, Herman. Three, Wilton. Four, Clever. Five, Diego, six, Manny, seven, Artur, eight, and captain, Alejandro, nine, Marcello, ten, vice captain, Josh, eleven, Daniel, twelve, Moses, thirteen, Philippe, fourteen, Leandro, and fifteen, Gaston. Okay? So that will be the starting group, okay? Rodrigo. How many minutes are you going to get? How much time? Three minutes Exactly. You're going, get, you're going to get 40 minutes at least. OK? So don't be disappointed. You're going to play. Leandro, you're disappointed, aren't you? You are disappointed. Yeah. Of course you are. OK, it's a lesson. You're lazy on Tuesday. OK? It's a lesson. Right, coaches watch everything. MLR clubs watch everything. OK? I want you to prove me wrong on Saturday. OK? Play the best 40 minutes of your life. OK? Look, it's, it's, it's tough. We actually have to make the hard call of the 15 players that have to start the game. But the way that we'll structure the game, they'll be rolling subs. So guys will get game time. Everyone will get game time and get an opportunity to, to show their way. When I heard that they were not in the first team, I was a little negative. I knew that maybe in that moment I was behind those 15. Pero bueno, sé que va a haber oportunidades y voy a tener mis 40 minutos para, para mostrarme. Si no tengo un contrato, la verdad que fue una, una muy buena semana, muy buena experiencia con, con gente de alto nivel, muy buenos coaches, preparadores físicos. La verdad que fue una semana que, que sumó mucho y no me arrepentiría de haberla hecho. Tuvimos mucho entrenamiento este año y quizás no tanta competencia. Entonces, por ese lado nos va a venir muy bien para afrontar ese buen nivel y llegar al Mundial con, con buena competencia, jugando todos los fines de semana a un nivel duro. Este Mundial se llega con bastante tiempo de preparación, lo cual te da, te da la chance de prepararte con bastante más tiempo, más organizado. Un contrato me ayudaría mucho como jugador para dedicarme 100% al rugby. Estar únicamente para eso te, te ayuda mucho como jugador a entrenar bien, descansar, comer bien y estar enfocado solo en eso. Game day. And for a group that boasts so many international honors, there may have been games that meant more to the individuals involved but none that had such potential to change lives and careers. It's a real stepping stone. You get to see guys go from being really an amateur to, to professional programs. This is very non-traditional. It's exciting. As far as how the game will go, I don't know. I really don't know. We've got some basic patterns of play and basic, I suppose, principles of play. Todos están muy motivados con esto y, y con todo lo que se viene en el futuro. Los jugadores están muy ilusionados y con muchas ganas de tener un contrato profesional y de cambiar un poco su vida dentro del rugby. What we want to do is actually just put them out there. If there's a scrum, we want them to scrum well. If there's a line out, we want them to line out well. If there's a if there's a penalty and the quick tap option is the option, we'll play a quick tap. So we want to play rugby. Each of the players has been told, whatever you're outstanding at, whatever you're good at, go and do it. Put themselves on the on the on the on the platform to get an MLR contract. 
hablábamos con, con Dan de, de qué decir ahora y lo único fue que nosotros no tuvimos esta oportunidad aprovechenlo cinco países un equipo un equipo junto ok 80 minutos para disfrutar y divertirnos hey, disfrutar y divertirnos son palabras buenas ¿sí? hagamos la realidad ¿tá? que ellos sufran nosotros vamos a divertirnos ¿Sí? Sí. laburamos mucho para esto cada uno en su país y esta semana fue durísima bien me gusta mucho eh, esto de liderar este, es un desafío grande no estoy, no estoy acostumbrado a capaz que a tener que liderar eh, jugadores que, que tienen otros capitanes, inclusive diferentes idiomas. Así que para mí es un desafío grande y lo asumo con, con muchas ganas. Sí, la verdad que hay mucha ansiedad. Tremendas ganas de que ya llegue el momento del partido y eh, a, aprovechar mi oportunidad. A gente tiene un ótimo team, un ótimo elenco ahí, en el Americas Combine. Y a gente acha que va a ser un buen juego y a gente va a hacer un, un buen papel ahí representando nuestros países ahí. Estoy ansioso, nervoso, feliz, alegre, ah, todo un poco. Sin duda que va a ser duro como combinado. Sabemos que son físicos, pero bueno, nosotros hemos practicado bastante nuestro sistema de juego, que es, si bien es simple, creemos que con la calidad de jugadores que tenemos eh, puede llegar a ser muy efectivo. En Rugby Town, USA, The challenge for a scratch team made up of five different nations is a big one. The hometown Glendale Raptors are the USA's most established professional outfit with a raft of internationals and were runners-up in the competition's inaugural season. The people with the best insight into the players' performances, therefore, may well be the watching MLR coaches. It didn't take long for the Americas selects to impress. With 93 test caps between them, Uruguayans Matteo Sanguinetti and Herman Kessler's carries from close range resulted in a try for the hooker. So there's, there's your directness to pick and go, you know, like that. So is that Herman scored it? Herman Kessler? He works hard all week too. I mean, Herman, Herman Kessler, the hooker from Uruguay, yeah. He's just really diligent. With the forwards displaying their ability in the tight, it was time for the backs to show what they could do out wide. Ryan, stop him. Drop scored by the selects. That was number 30, Gaston Mieres. Yeah, welcome to the game. He runs good lines all week. He's run that line really well the whole time, that too cute, the Brazilian. He's got like 90 caps or something. No, he's a, he's a damn good player, that Gaston. He's a very good player. With the MLR season fast approaching, Glendale reminded Wisemantle and his group that this was no training session. Brazilian Moises Duque and Uruguayan Gaston Mieres combined again to set up another Brazilian for the select's next score. Oh, strong. Try scored by the America's number 20, Arthur Bango. Lost five. He's, uh, he's just a competitor, he's good, but he works and works, and he's actually deceptively taller than you think he is. So that's Brazilian with a Euro go on, all like net straight away. It's interesting. That uh, half-time whistle goes. Half-time score. Más tranquilidad, más calma, bien, y más urgencia al defender en el armado de la línea. La línea tenemos que armarla antes, por eso nos están cortando. Bien, hay que correr más. With 40 minutes played, the match is keenly poised, and whilst the desire to win is evident, it's the performance that counts. Many of the starters have done their job. Now it's time for others to seize their opportunity, among them the quartet of Rodrigo Silva, Leandro Segredo, Ignacio Dotti and Lucas Andrade. Rodrigo, he's a good ball player. Having been asked to prove Scott wrong, Leandro and Rodrigo waste no time in impressing those watching on.
जाएगा And then this first receiver was Diego on that try. Was it? Yeah. Two forwards. Ya se lo dije a algunos, pero si tenemos problemas en la salida, juguemos un rack, un rack, un continuado con los gordos. If we have problems there in the back, we play once. Yep. One forwards again, and then we go over the field. Entering the final quarter, and things seem to be clicking for the selects. Nice offload. Got rid of three of them and an offload. Good hands, good hands. Good play. seen anything like this where you have players who've played many times for their country and have never been a pro rugby player. I've never seen anything like it. The desire that you see where players were giving up their jobs and basically ready to move at a heartbeat, you actually understand that you have a massive responsibility to, to do a good job. These men are competing and you know, doing everything they can because it's a dream of theirs to be able to say they're a professional rugby player. America's combined, 33. It's an exciting time for everybody within the region. It's going to take a lot of hard work, but uh, when people come here and they see the potential, they get energized. They see the energy that these players are putting forth and they see the potential, uh, and I think it also brings back a, a sense of um, what rugby is all about, and that's the core values that, that we know the game stands for. Ask me for the man of match. It's everyone. I can't come up, I can't come up with one. It's all of us, it's the whole week, yeah? So line up, let's get down. Good job. Twenty-five players. Five nations, seven days, and one game with the potential for change. And the first Rugby Americas Combine delivered. Season two of Major League Rugby begins with a host of new players who seized their opportunity, and many more who bettered themselves and returned home with the passion and knowledge to grow the game still further. 